Hey everybody, it's me, Dr. Q. Oh, I don't mind that rooster over there. Uh, the one and only life coach for people with pets. And I'm gonna talk to you today about summer fun with your pets because here in Colorado, the sun is starting to shine a little more often. Uh, the grass is starting to grow and that means people are getting excited about getting out there and hiking and exploring and doing all kinds of fun outdoor activities with our pets this summer, which is amazing. But it also means that your pets are gonna be a little bit more prone to possibly picking up some diseases while they're out there. And the most important ones I wanna talk about today are heartworm disease and fleas and ticks. Now, there's some interesting facts out there that you may not know about heartworm disease, because I think some people really think we don't have much of a problem with any of those things here in Colorado. But the data is showing us that unfortunately it's becoming more of a problem here in Colorado. There's a website you can check out. It's called capcvet.org, C-A-P-C-V-E-T.org. He's just happy because he's not outside, so he's not going to get fleas and ticks. Um, and it can, tells you all kinds of independent information about the spread of heartworms and fleas and ticks in Colorado. And what's really interesting is that, unfortunately, it's on the rise. And in fact, throughout the entire United States, the city with the second highest new cases of heartworm disease in the country is Fort Collins, Colorado. But you would have never guessed that one. Me neither. And then the other thing is a lot of people think, oh, I live in the mountains. I don't need to worry. We don't have that problem up here. Well, you might be surprised to learn that the one of the biggest hot spots for heartworms um, is actually Aspen in Colorado. So uh, your pets are unfortunately not safe. Uh, with climate change, disease patterns are changing and spreading to places where it really wasn't an issue in the past. And so it's something that we really need to take a lot more seriously. So real quick, what is heartworm disease? Well, it's a disease that's carried by mosquitoes. And so yes, pets do get bitten by mosquitoes. When I was a teenager, I had a long husky type dog and I thought, nah, I don't need to worry about that stuff. She's never gonna get bitten by no mosquitoes ever gonna get through that thick fur. Boy, was I wrong when we did a heartworm test on her and she was positive for heartworms. So, so that was a terrible experience to go through and I don't want any of you to go through it. So no matter what kind of hair coat your dog has, they can get bitten by mosquitoes and potentially get heartworm disease. And also the fleas and ticks are something to think about. Did you know that ticks actually are active in Colorado year round? I know we think of them as mostly being in the summer, but if you check out the CAPC vet.org website, you're gonna see um, all kinds of information there about tick activity and flea activity. And actually the ticks are active, um, not only uh, in the summer, but also in the winter. So there's pictures of them out in the snow and they also hide in the craziest places. There's a video out there or a picture of a dog that actually has a tick right on the roof of the mouth hiding out. So, oh, and they carry terrible rickettsial diseases that wreck your dog's immune system, so you don't want them getting that. And as far as fleas are concerned, a lot of folks also think we don't have a lot of fleas in Colorado, but not that long ago, I had some clients bring me a little bunny rabbit that had been attacked by a hawk and wasn't gonna probably make it. But um, in the meantime, while I was trying to figure out if we could help this animal or not, I noticed that this rabbit was absolutely in with fleas. It was crazy how many fleas were on this little bunny. And so we, our wildlife in Colorado does carry a lot of fleas. So think about that with your dogs. Let's not let them get underneath the deck and down in animal burrows and places like that because that's where the fleas live. Ticks can live anywhere and heartworms are going to be a problem um, anytime there are flying insects and mosquitoes, which is what's happening right about now. So what are we doing about that at Aspen Park Vet Hospital? Well, this year we have decided to get in something new it's called a pro heart injection it's a shot that your dog gets once a year as long as your dog's at least a year old and it protects your dog against heartworms for an entire year so I'm so excited about this because I have to admit even for me sometimes it's hard to remember to always be on top of giving those um, heartworm preventative tablets once a month that my dogs don't really want to eat right and so I'm excited to have that taken off my plate and Dr. Hunt who's been working for us for a couple of years has been using the ProHeart for a long time and she's so excited that we're getting it because she's been using it for a long time she thinks it's the greatest thing ever and I've been checking into the safety profile and man this thing has been around for a long time and has a very high safety profile so I'm excited about that and I'm excited about being able to offer that to you because I think it is time to revisit how we recommend heartworm prevention and flea and tick 
prevention for our dogs and cats um, throughout Colorado. So if it's time for your dog to have a heartworm test um, and you're a current client of ours at Aspen Park Vet, uh, definitely give us a call and make an appointment on a Tuesday because Tuesdays we offer the wellness clinics where we have blood at, uh, blood tests at almost 50% off. It's a cool deal I was able to um, make with our local lab to make that happen, but only can do it on Tuesdays. It's only for healthy pets. So if your pet's not feeling well, it's not an appropriate time for you to come in. But if your dog's coming in anyway to have to give a little bit of a blood sample for a heartworm test, then why not just go ahead and get a little bit more blood and get a baseline blood work. I really think it's important for us to get baseline blood work on our pets at least once every year or so so that we can uh, see if there's uh, supplements or nutrients or things that we can add to their diet to help and make sure that they don't have any issues or minimize their issues going into the future. And our wellness clinics, that's how we show our appreciation to our clients um, at Aspen Park Beth Hospital. So please don't forget to Give us a call and get on our schedule to get your heart room test for your dog um, for the season and then either schedule a pro heart injection or pick up some monthly preventative tablets and you might think about doing that for the same thing for the fleas and ticks. And on that note, I'm Dr. Q here to help you have the healthiest, happiest, longest relationship with all of the animals in your life. Thank you so much for watching today. If you find this video to be helpful, please like it down below, subscribe to our channel, check out what we're doing on the nonprofit side over at therescueranch.org. And thank you so much for tuning in today and God bless and we'll see you right here next time.